Gracie's going to be talking to two special young men who are really making a difference in their community. Thanks, Jim. I'm sitting here right now with two very special Boy Scouts, Zach Hannaford and Brian Seitz of Troop 128 in Whitehall, New York. They've decided to take on the challenge of promoting the early detection of breast cancer. Wow, guys. Thanks so much for joining us. Tell me everything about your project. Uh, well, in order to get our Eagle Scout badge, we needed to do a, a community service project. And we talked it over, and we thought that we'd do uh, help women do their breast exams. Wow. Now, you must have done a lot of research. Definitely. Yeah. Uh, we looked all over the internet yeah. to find great websites. I think we're seeing some of them now. Oh, uh, yeah, these ones are really good. Yeah, yeah, the information can be pretty confusing, though. So yeah. women should always ask us for help. Definitely. You've even put together your own website, is that right? Yeah, uh, my older brother Ted's our advisor and he knows how to put together websites, so he helped us put our own. It lists your phone number, so that's a good yeah. way for people to get in contact with you, right? Uh -huh. yeah. They can call us and we'll go to their house anytime. Well, so how's your program going to work? I mean, where do you plan to do these exams? Uh, well, I think we're probably going to do them in my basement. Well, it's not, his basement's not really like a basement basement. It's, has a carpet, and it's so like it's a family finished. room. Well, so, now yeah. I've been told that the key to a good self-breast examination is making them a regular part of your normal routine, right? And that way you get to know your breasts and, and can recognize any changes. Now, I like to do mine when I'm in the shower. Yeah, okay. okay. But I understand you can also lie on your bed. Uh, yeah, yeah, definitely, uh-huh. I am kind of worried about my own technique, though. Can you show us how to do a good breast exam? Uh, um, well, you first... You know, the, you kind of have yeah. to, like, f look around and, like, feel for the lump. The lump and I imagine you have to disrobe. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah, and then you've got to, like, you got to, like, feel for the bump yeah, if there is one. If there's one. And you go in circles. Yeah. Okay, so there are different techniques then. Is that right, Brian? Yeah. you got to squeeze the nipple to make sure it doesn't feel irregular in the nipple to make sure. Wow, yeah. I'm amazed. Yeah, yeah, you should come over. We can teach you how to do it. Mm -hmm. Sign me up, boys. Thank you so much for coming on the show and sharing this. Um, the thing of age. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, we're really focusing on younger women because you know older women mo uh, know most of this stuff already. As Silla Black would say, Toronto.